BJ Sarma. I'm here with Daniel Liberty. We're here for Toronto Truth Seekers, and we are privileged to be speaking with Dr. Joel Wallach, a, a, a an, an expert on uh, on natural ways, uh, natural alternatives for treatments as opposed to pharmaceuticals. There may be room for both. There may not be. It all depends. Dr. Wallach, please tell us a bit about yourself and your background to give us some context. Well, thank you, BJ. I think the thing that makes our view different, my view different, is that I have a uh, degree in agriculture, and uh, my major is in animal husbandry and uh, nutrition. My minor is in field crops and soils. I'm a veterinarian, and that has its own little unique background, and there's no health insurance for uh, veterinary uh, health services. And then um, I am a comparative pathologist where I do autopsies in both animals and humans. And one of my big projects with the National Institutes of Health uh, resulted in the publication of a 1,200-page book uh, which is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure. Then I went back to school in 1978 and became a uh, primary care physician, been practicing uh, since 1978. So you've been a primary care physician since 1978, but you also have a book called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. Now you're clearly not a dead doctor. Uh, Dr. Wallach, what do you mean by that? Well, you have to appreciate that the average lifespan uh, for medical doctors for their uh, own study, this is their own study, is 56. Now, if doctors knew everything they should about health, they should live to be 120 or 150 or 200. 56 doesn't give you a sense that they really know what they're talking about. Uh, you take the oldest guy in America who died in um, uh, 1998. He lived on eggs and dairy and lard sandwiches. Did everything wrong, yet he lived to be 112. Medical doctors who claim they do everything right died 56. Uh, <laughs> not a good testimony for their belief. I completely understand. So doctors are clearly uh, doing something wrong if they only live to be 56 and if the average life expectancy is around 74, 75, 76. Uh, so, so what is the issue here, uh, Dr. Wallach? Uh, I'm calling you Dr. Wallach because you are a doctor. You obviously practice within Dr. the system. Dr. Doctor. Dr. Doctor. He's a triple doctorate, triple doctor. And so, so what is the issue here? What are doctors doing wrong relative to what people who don't do what doctors say are doing right? Okay, well, the, it's very simple, VJ. It's technology versus raw materials. If you give your body everything it needs, 90 essential nutrients, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, it will repair and maintain itself. If you depend on technology, machines, electronics, uh, if you depend on pharmaceuticals, uh, you might get some relief and then you die. Okay, and so you need maintenance. It's kind of like if you put uh, water in the crankcase of a car instead of oil, it's not going to last very long. That's why exercise without supplementation is one of the most dangerous voluntary enterprises you can enter into. Because you sweat out all your nutrients, you drink water, you replace the nutrients with water. You're going to die early. In fact, with the exception of three black guys from the old Negro Baseball League days back in the 1920s, there's never been a professional athlete to ever lived to be 100. You take all professional sports combined, the average lifespan is 62 for professional athletes. Uh, when you just look at um, football players, what is it, CFLers, you know, Canadian football players, average lifespan is 51. So it's hardly a testimony that exercise is good for you, because they should live longer than the average Canadian or average American, but they don't. They, they live anywhere from 10, 15, 20 years less. Now this is something that, that many people don't even think about. Everybody sweats, everybody uh, uh, gets up, everybody loses nutrients in some fashion, people urinate, people whatever. We don't really think about the 90 essential nutrients that we need, the minerals that we need. These aren't things that are organic to our understanding. We think, okay, vegetables, great, meats, great, fats, great, breads, great, done. But there's a, a hidden component that people often don't know, but that people who take care of animals know. So why don't you get into how animals are in many ways more nutritionally cared for as products than us human resources? Well, VJ, you hit the nail on the head, as they say, because you have to appreciate that we don't have any health insurance for livestock or pet animals. There's no health insurance. There's no Health Canada. There's no Blue Cross Blue Shield. And um, if you were to use a human health care type of system for livestock, for instance, it would be sticker shock for you. Your eggs would be $250 a dozen, a pound of hamburger would be 500 bucks, just to pay for the health care. So we learned a long time ago in the animal industry that we could triple lifespans, prevent and cure 900 different diseases still plague humans, eliminate every birth defect you can name in 10 times that many you can't, 
simply with nutrition, not by organ transplants, not by wonder drugs, not by genetically engineered proteins or stem cells, just simply with nutrition. And that's the advantage I have because I used my veterinary training on my human patients and my patients affectionately say, well, Dr. Wallach treats us like dogs, but we get better. <laughs> Fantastic. So basically, uh, uh, patients come to you after seeking a number of different options. Uh, what, what, ty what type of ailments do they come to you with and what type of solutions do you offer? Well, uh, I get the usual run-of-the-mill diseases. Uh, let's say type 2 diabetes makes up 98% of the diabetic population. We've known for 70 years it's a simple mineral deficiency. It's not genetic. Uh, you take all 90 essential nutrients, you have the secret sauce to deal with um, uh, sensitizing cell walls in the body to insulin and usually within two days to 14 days they've weaned off their medication to go back to normal life. Everything's normal. A1C hemoglobin is below 5 and their uh, blood sugar using Canadian measurements are below 5. American measurements would be below um, 90. Okay, And so uh, this is very simple. Nobody should be a diabetic in the industrialized world. It's very simple. Again, two days to two weeks you can get rid of it. It's absolutely a crime the medical system uses um, people in the industrialized world, particularly Canadians and Americans, as ATM machines. Then there's obesity. Together, the United States and Canada are the two most obese nations in the world. What does it tell you about what the medical system and the governments know about obesity? We're the most obese nations in the world. They don't know anything about obesity, yet it's a very simple disease. It's a deficiency of two minerals. You take those minerals and the weight goes away. If you don't take those two minerals, the symptom of those two mineral deficiencies is ravenous hunger and eating and binge eating. That's the symptom. You take the minerals and that all goes away. I'm, I'm hungry, Doc. What are those two minerals? <laughs> Got to read the book, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, another one is arthritis. There's two types of arthritis. 95% of arthritis is what we call oh, osteopenia, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis, bone-to-bone -bone arthritis, and then 2 to 5% is rheumatoid arthritis. And rheumatoid arthritis is caused by an infection with a bug called mycoplasma. It's curable in two weeks. It's caused, rheumatoid arthritis is caused by a bug which is easily killable with a particular antibiotic. I don't particularly like antibiotics, and so I tend to use herbs to kill that bug or at least support the immune system in some case where your own body will kill it and get rid of it. And then it might take you 60 days to rebuild all the damage that was inflicted by the infection, and it's done. It's over with. Now, when do doctors, VJ, when do they get paid? When you're healthy or when you're sick? Well, I've heard in ancient Chinese cultures it was when you're healthy, but I've heard in our culture it's when you're sick. <laughs> Canadian American culture is when you're sick, right? Now here's the deal. If a doctor were to cure, cure you in Canada of rheumatoid arthritis, or America with rheumatoid arthritis, he makes 300 bucks in office calls. Because he's going to write your prescription, you run to the pharmacy, you'll spend a couple of 100 bucks, or maybe you might get it free from Health Canada. The doctor makes the office visit, 300 bucks. If he treats you, if he treats you for 25 years for rheumatoid arthritis, he makes $750,000. So which way is he going, VJ? I know some doctors, got some of my family. Some of them are trying to do great work. Uh, I understand the medical model is flawed, and I understand also that if they don't practice orthodox medicine and do things exactly the way they're supposed to, they might violate their medical malpractice insurance and get sued and be screwed. So they're kind of trapped in this paradigm where they can't move much. How do you, what is your experience with your fellow doctors when it comes to this revolutionary series of medical breakthroughs you've been on for 20, 30, 40 years? <laughs> well, here's what they have to do. To make it work, VJ, what they got to do is go to the courthouse steps, stand there and burn their license. Say, I'm voluntarily giving up my license. I'm burning it. I do not want to practice as an allopathic physician anymore. What I'm going to do is use Wallach's program, or the 90 for Life program, and Wallach says he'll train me for nothing and I will heal people. I will heal people instead of treat them and that will make me feel very good and I'll make a very substantial living. You don't need to be a medical doctor to do this. You just need to be a sister or brother, a mom or a dad or a child. And it works. That's simple because we don't make diagnoses and we don't take a fee for uh, services. And we do all our services for free and people come to us with a diagnosis of arthritis and diabetes and then all you do is you use the basic platform, I call it the 90 essential nutrients, which everybody needs, like oxygen and water and the 16 minerals and 16 vitamins and 12 essential amino acids and 3 essential fatty acids. And then we have a secret sauce for each of the 900 different diseases. Now let's say, very typically, people would have high blood pressure, obesity, and, and diabetes. Well, the one that I would deal with first there is the high blood pressure 
and the diabetes. And the, a little bit of the weight will go away, but then we can really jump on the weight thing and have them lose up to two pounds a day very quickly. But um, uh, you always want to, if, if, let's say it's too expensive because they've got 16 diseases, I would always go for the one or two or three most life-threatening ones first. And this is where I'm giving a call to all medical doctors out there who would like to do the right thing, but they're afraid of losing their livelihood, and they got three kids to feed and a wife and a mortgage. <clears throat> Come to me, I'll show you how to burn your license, get out of the system, and then I'll show you how to heal people. It's interesting, Dr. Wallach, because there are, there are people out there that, uh, that, that specialize in this. What do you think of this idea? Which doctors? I'm talking which doctors you're going to go to. So you got your community, you got somebody trained in the Dr. Wallach School of Nutrition and Nutrients, then you've got your standard medical care, and basically in a given community, you can choose between... What are your thoughts on communities actually having people who are trained in your way of doing things, which is all natural, so probably not going to hurt you even if you try it, and then having that as an option versus the regular healthcare system? Okay, the only way that would work, VJ, is if the alternative healthcare system like I practice <clears throat> has equal standing with an MD. Have to have equal standing, both get paid the same, both are looked at the same legally, both are looked at the same uh, legislatively. Um, opportunities, responsibilities, ethics will be exactly the same. That's fine, I would go along with that. Let people choose. For instance, right now, and we have to remember that Canada is one third of the size of the United States. We have 300 million people, Canada has 30 million, so 10%. So. Let's say the numbers that I give for Americans is like going to be 10% of what, you know, for Canada. For instance, medical doctors kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans, kill, injure, and infect 15 million Americans each year in their office. That's a fact. That came from the Journal of the American Medical Association and the Center for Disease Control. That's an absolute drop dead fact. 15 million a year are killed, injured, and infected by medical doctors. They get a walk. They have a protected monopoly. They don't get their licenses suspended for three seconds. They kill, injure, rob, and pillage with impunity, and they get a walk. Now, if one chiropractor were to give you a hemorrhoid, there'd be a hue and cry by the medical community to end all chiropractic. Okay. I, I completely understand, which is kind of puts you, uh, you natural folks, in a good situation where you can make some of these claims. You're probably not going to injure people, and by and large, you are helping people. And speaking of this, uh, Dr. Joel Wallach, as a good guy trying to sell stuff, which is obviously what you should do. I take no money from it. You, you don't generally, but no, no, at the... I do not take any money. You don't take any money for the advice, but you do have no, things... I do not take any money for the sale of the products. Yeah. I do not. Uh, I have, that has nothing to do with my living. I purposely set my company up so I take nothing for the sale of the products or my services. That way the medical doctors, which tend to be very egregious, they say, well, he's one of those quacks because he's taking money for selling those vitamins and minerals. Of course, they never mention that they take money for giving you incorrect, and they, they kill you, they still take the money, right? right. Dr. Wallach, let's, let's, uh, let's uh, get a couple of things out here, some, some websites you want to shout out, some books you want to shout out, movies you want to shout out, things where people can learn more about this and, and support your work and support other people with your work. Okay, well, for a website, I would take plantmins.com. It's plantmins.com. It's very simple. And um, that's where I would start. So plantmins.com, P-L-A-N-T-M-I-N-S for plant minerals. We have everything on earth that we need to cure us, and there are people synthesizing things that harm us. So let's just get the facts out on the table for ourselves and for people we care about. Uh, Dr. Wallach, I want to thank you for spending 40 years doing this. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate your hospitality. We have the privilege of speaking with Ms. Charmaine Murphy, an expert through her own use on longevity products and natural health solutions. But first, uh, Charmaine, thank you for being here. Tell us a bit about your personal background. Okay, I was uh, born in Jackson, Michigan, 70 years ago today. And uh, all my life I've kind of been a rebel and against the grain. And I always felt there was always more to everything than meets the eye. And I, when I met up with Dr. Wallach, he was completely 180 degrees different than what everybody, doctors said about everything. And not being a doctor or even any medical training, I chose to, I made a gut decision to believe him 
22 years ago, and I've been working with him ever since, and I've been taking his products. I have not been to a medical doctor for being sick in over 25 years. I don't have a doctor. I don't take any prescription drugs. I'm from Michigan, and there's a law in Michigan that if you get killed or maimed by a prescription drug that's been approved by the FDA, you can't sue or do anything about your SOL. So to me, taking prescription drugs is like playing Russian roulette with a name like Murphy. It wouldn't work out good for me. I know more, thanks to Dr. Wallach, I know more about illnesses and uh, prescription drugs, what they do to people, than I know more about any illness pretty much than most medical doctors do. And I'm not bragging, I'm stating the fact. It's a sad situation with what our health care has come to. In the United States, the health care system is the number one killer of Americans. They're 9,000 times more likely to get killed by your doctor than you are by a straight bullet. 25 years you haven't seen a doctor. I have not. You turned 70 recently. Today. Today. Today's my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to Miss Charmaine Murphy for turning 70 today. I thought she was 35. I'm still sticking to it. Now, tell, tell me a bit um, about uh, the longevity products that you got into. Start Talk about starting to work with Dr. Wallach 22 years ago. Oh, great. Um, well, Dr. Wallach uh, worked for, did autopsies for the National Institute of Health. He did over 20,000 autopsies because they wanted to find out if uh, animals were dying of pollution, so they did autopsies on animals and zoos that died of natural causes and 3,000 humans that died of natural causes around the zoo to find out if they were dying from pollution. And not one of them died from pollution, they all died from nutritional deficiencies. And he wrote a book, uh, 1,200 page book, I believe, called Diseases of Exotic Animals based on all these autopsies, which was required reading for veterinarians. And he got an unsolicited letter a few years ago from the Smithsonian Institute that they told him they have the book in the Smithsonian and they consider it a national treasure because at today's prices, they'll never be able to repeat those tests again. So he was nominated for the Nobel Prize in 1991 for his research in the connection of uh, birth defects and babies and uh, mineral deficiencies. And all the research they've done with animals They've determined that all humans and animals need 16 minerals every day, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and 3 essential fatty acids. And if you're missing any number of these things for a period of time, there's going to be a breakdown. Essentially, uh, animals are treated better than humans are in this respect because as a resource, if you make them sick, you lose more money, whereas if you make us sick, uh, the big drug companies, everybody makes a lot of money off us being sick. So, um, any 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 final thoughts out there between these solutions, the alternative ones, and the medical system solutions? So, how would you propose they uh, a help themselves and b help others? Oh boy! Well, again, it, it, the people from Longevity will teach any new people the whole system and how it works. And I'll give you a, a little example. Your brain is 75% uh, myelin. Everybody's heard of the myelin sheet. It's the, it's the rubber coating over your electrical wiring. It's, it comprises 75% of the weight of your brain. Well, myelin is 100% cholesterol. So what if doctors told people, don't eat eggs, don't eat butter, and then take a cholesterol-lowering drug. So you lose all the rubber coating on your electrical wiring, and two or more bare wires touch, you just gave your shock, you know, short-circuited your brain or gave yourself Alzheimer's disease. And another simple thing too is uh, the commercial on TV, if, if you have an irregular heartbeat and there's nothing wrong with your heart, you need this drug. No, 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 no. What's happened is the cartilage between your vertebrae has gone away and your, and your vertebrae are too close together because there's no cushion between them. And the nerve that makes your heartbeat goes through your back and it's being squeezed, which causes an irregular heartbeat. All you need is glucogel to rebuild the cartilage and the bones and pump that cartilage between your vertebrae back up and all of a sudden your heart doesn't it beats normal because it's not the nerve isn't being squeezed anymore. I can go on and on about all the diseases that doctors have created. They tell people not to eat salt, it causes high blood pressure, big lie. The government spent thirty billion dollars or thirty million and they cannot see where salt changes your blood pressure one way or the other. So this is another big lie. And, and salt is required for your stomach to produce stomach acid. Without stomach acid, you can't 
break down what little nutrition is in the food. So you need salt, you need eggs, you need real butter, you need to take natural stuff as opposed to chemical foods and avoid genetically engineered food because that's all programmed to kill us early. It's, uh, it's simple and, and all the people from Longevity will give people free training. Dr. Wallach gives free lectures just about 300 days a year and uh, it's all free. Doc never charges for his lectures, they're free to anybody. And uh, the goal is to try to educate people so that you don't need to go to the doctor. It's better to not have to subject yourself to such evil as torture. That's the way I look at it. Fantastic. So, uh, Charmaine Murphy, again, 70 years young today. She's been working uh, with Dr. Wallach and taking Longevity products for 22 years. So, for people out there who, who might be a little scared and, and might be a little concerned and don't want to upset anybody, don't worry about it. Be an individual. Make your own choices. Look better. Feel better. Pass it on. Charmaine, I want to thank you for your interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your inspiration as a beautiful 70-year-old uh, woman who's uh, maintaining herself wonderfully and, 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 and intelligent and gracious with your time, and uh, and I appreciate uh, spending some time with you. Thank you. I appreciate you too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>